let's talk about how do we differentiate respiratory and metabolic alkalosis and acidosis. Arterial blood gas analysis. There are a few things that we need. We need the levels. We need the levels of pH. We need the levels of bicarbonates and carbon dioxide. The levels of the normal pH would be 7.35 to 7.45, carbon dioxide 35 to 45, bicarbonates 22 to 26. Why we need to understand this? Because the body is trying to do something. There's a change that is occurring in the body to bring the pH back to the normal. Right? The pH needs to get back between 7.35 to 7.45. If pH increases, what happens? You call it alkalosis, alkaline. If pH reduces, you call it acidic. So your job would be to bring the pH back to normal. If bicarbonates increases, that is called alkalosis. If bicarbonates reduces, that's called metabolic acidosis. But if carbon dioxide increases, that's called acidosis because there's more carbon dioxide in the body. It's getting acidic. It's causing pH to go into acidic nature. And if carbon dioxide, it starts to reduce, it starts pushing pH to alkaline. Right? Once again, the job is to bring pH into the normal values. What do you need to see when you're solving questions for the arterial blood gas analysis if pH is in normal limits or not? If pH was brought into the normal limits, that scenario would be called fully compensated. It can be fully compensated metabolic, it can be fully compensated alkalosis. How do we know if it's metabolic or how do we know if it's respiratory? If carbon dioxide makes changes to pull the pH into normal, that means it's respiratory fully compensated alkalosis or acidosis. How do we know if it's alkalosis or acidosis? If carbon dioxide increases, it would be fully compensated respiratory acidosis. If carbon dioxide reduced and pH gets normal, it's called fully compensated respiratory alkalosis. Now, this is when you have fully compensated. That means either bicarbonate change or your carbon dioxide change to pull the pH into the normal limits. Now, what if the pH is not normal? pH is either reduced or increased from its normal values. You call it either it's uncompensated or partially compensated. Uncompensated means none of the values, carbon dioxide or bicarbonate, changed and the pH is abnormal. Whether partially compensated means some changes were seen in carbon dioxide or metabolic or both, but pH is still not in the normal limits. Let me give you the scenarios one by one and let's try to solve it down. I hope you're ready with your notepad and a pen. I'm going to give you figures. I'm not going to type it here. I'm going to give you figures. So go ahead and write down so that you have multiple levels of the feedback when you're going through it. Let's say if pH is 7.39, carbon dioxide is 49, HCO3, HCO3 is 23. Now, what is pH? Is it normal or abnormal? pH is 39. Is it normal or abnormal? pH should be between 7.35 to 7.45. It's normal. What happened to the bicarbonates? Bicarbonates should be between 22 to 26. And the value is 23. Is it no in the normal limits or not? It's between 22 to 26. It's normal. What happened to the carbon dioxide? It should be somewhere between 35 to 45, and now it's 49. Is it causing acidic or is it causing alkaline? It's causing acidic because carbon dioxide increases, it causes acidic. But pH is normal. What do you call it? When the pH is normal, you call it 
fully compensated respiratory acidosis. Great. Let's work on scenario number two. Go ahead and write down pH 7.41, carbon dioxide 44, bicarbonates 19, HCO3 19. Now what happened here? Is pH normal or abnormal? pH is normal. What happened to carbon dioxide? Is it normal? Yes, it's 44. It should be between 35 to 45. What happened to bicarbonates? It's reduced. So what do you call this situation? Fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Why do we call it fully compensated? Because pH gets normal. pH comes back to the normal values. So bicarbonates were able to completely compensate, change their values to meet the goals, which is to pull the pH into normal limits. It's fully compensated metabolic acidosis. All right. Ready for scenario number three? pH is 7.51. pH is 7.51. Carbon dioxide, 35. Bicarbonates, 28. pH is 7.51. Carbon dioxide, 35. Bicarbonates, 28. What do you call it? Is pH normal or abnormal? This is where we make a decision. <clears throat> the pH is abnormal. To what side? Towards alkaline. Is carbon dioxide normal? Yes, it's 35. Is bicarbonate normal? No, it increased by two points. So what do you call it? When bicarbonates try to compensate to pull the pH into normal limits, but it didn't work out. It's called uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. Good job. Let's work on scenario number four. I hope you're ready. pH is 7.49. PaCO2, 34. HCO3, 29. pH, 7.49. Carbon dioxide, 34. Bicarbonates, 29. Is pH normal or not? That's our first job to do. It's increased. It's towards alkaline. What happened to the carbon dioxide? It's reduced. It's 34. It's towards alkaline. What happens to bicarbonates? It's 29. It's increased. It's alkaline. Right? How much carbon dioxide reduced? By one point. How much bicarbonates increased? by three points. So who's winning the game? pH is abnormal. Who is trying more to compensate? Carbon dioxide or bicarbonates? Bicarbonates, because they are increasing by three points. And that would be called partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. All right, because both of the figures are changing and the pH is still not normal. That means bicarbonates are trying more. So that's going to be partially compensated metabolic alkalosis because there's increase in uh, bicarbonates. Let's try another scenario. When the pH is 7.31, carbon dioxide 49, bicarbonates 20. I repeat, pH is 7.31, carbon dioxide 49, bicarbonates 20. Now, pH is, is that normal or not? It's going to be acidic. pH is 7.31, it's acidic. Carbon dioxide have increased to 4, 49. It's acidic. Bicarbonates reduced to 2, 20, acidic. <clears throat> that is right. Partially compensated respiratory acidos or acidosis because carbon dioxide changed more than bicarbonates. 
but pH is acidic. So carbon dioxide is winning the game. It's trying more. It's called partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Let's do one more scenario. Scenario number six. pH is 7.39. Carbon dioxide, 49. Bicarbonates, 15. What do you think the answer should be? Is pH normal? 7.39. Yes, it's normal. There's change in carbon dioxide and bicarbonates. Both are acidic. Which of the following out of carbon dioxide and bicarbonates changed more to bring the pH to the normal value? Did bicarbonate work more? It's 15. It's supposed to be at least 22. That means there's a change of seven points. Carbon dioxide is 49. It's supposed to be 45 at least. There's a change of four points. So who's winning? Metabolic or carbon dioxide? It's going to be called fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Why fully compensated? Because pH is within normal limits. Stick to the basics. When the pH is completely normal, then it's fully compensated. So it's fully compensated metabolic acidosis. It would have been partially compensated if pH was not into the normal limits. But because the pH is in normal limits and metabolic bicarbonates are winning the game, that means they are compensating more and they're successfully able to pull the pH into within the normal limits. That's why you call it fully compensated metabolic acidosis. And these are the scenarios, different scenarios. We have partial, we have uncompensated, partial compensated, and fully compensated scenarios. Uncompensated would be when there's no change in bicarbonate or carbon dioxide to bring the pH into normal limits. And how do you know that? The pH is abnormal, but your metabolic and your carbon dioxide did not change. They might be in the normal limits. And that's when you know it's not compensated at all. All right, I hope it makes sense. Do let me know if you have any other questions. Try to send more scenarios in the chat box or send it to my email ID, which is ravneet at pcff.com. And if you have any further questions, feel free to get in touch with me. I hope it helps and I hope it brings some clarity in your concepts. I'll see you around with more tutorials. Keep following PC Final Frontier. Thank you. <music>